excited for oh, this day. Noah's excited too. He's going insane. We recorded some weird things before this. They were really funny, but I don't know if we can show them in the video. Hey, we're going to go over our schedule and then we are going to get into math and Eli is going to have to pick what he's going to do for a quiet time activity. I know exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> we're going to talk about our choices and then get into math. Yep. I am going to do building a food plate with Play-Doh. All right, that's gonna be your quiet time activity while I do math. And wow. Do you know what this is called? It's the do Ray Ray pattern. Hey, that's a cool name. Yeah. What's First, the it's blue. Yeah. Second, it's yellow. Green. Do you remember the name of this pattern I told you? <gasps> Ray Ray something. <laughs> Do Ray Me. It's the Do Ray Me pattern. Mm. Wow, you made a super long pattern. <laughs> How are you coming with your making a food with Play Doh? Oh, you made a plate. That's a pretty good plate. All right, now we're gonna work on what? Soup, soup, subatize. Subatize. Okay, whoa. All right, we're gonna do some subatizing. Ready? First, we're gonna do our little poem, okay? Yellow is the sun, Make this is in. only one. Why is the sky so blue? Let me show you two here. Oh, salty is the sea. One more and it's three. Hear the thunder roar. Here's the mighty four. Yell, ducks will swim and dive. My whole hand makes five. Now we're gonna go on. Yellow is the sun. Six is five and one. Why is the sky so blue? Seven is five and two. Salty is the sea. Eight is five and what? Show it with your hand. Five. Five and three. Hear the thunder roar. Nine is five and four. Just put your thumb in. There you go, five and four. Ducks will swim and dive. 10 is five and five. I'm gonna make a plate with stuff on Play-Doh. All right, fun. Noah's all done with math and his quiet activity is gonna be the same as Eli's. So Eli gets to use this cool math balance tool that he thinks is super neat. So today we're gonna talk about Math balance, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, now we're gonna use the math balance and we set it up with one weight on a 10 and the other weight on the other 10 and that makes it balanced. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how else could you balance it? If you moved that weight to the five, how would you balance it on the other side? You would move that weight to the five, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to have both sides be equal, but you can use this to answer some math problems. So why don't you show how you can answer a math problem? So nine. Okay. So do this. So three. So let's say we got the problem three plus six. Um, let's play it on. There you go. We got the problem three plus six, and we don't know what it is. Um. We just have to, there's six, no, seven, no, eight, no, nine, yes. Ah, see? So you can figure out math problems on this cool math balance thing. It's neat. Okay, 
Now we're gonna learn how to do multiplication with the math balance. Oh, so I want you to put one peg on, or one weight on the 10 peg. Now, put another weight on the five peg. Oh, mm -hmm. Now, how could you make it balance by adding one more weight? Okay, so what is that equation? How would you write that? Well, there's two different ones, right? First of all, it would be five plus five. Nope, we're doing multiplication. So just the multiplication way to write it. Oh. <laughs> awesome. So now add one more weight to the five. Now, how would you balance it by adding one more weight? No, nope. you were right the first time. I know that. There you go. Now, how would you write this equation? You got, all you need to do is the five times three equals what? That's okay, you just broke it out further than you have to. Five times three equals 15, or 15 equals five times three. Okay, now put two weights on the 10. Not that 10, oh, I'm sorry, the other 10. There you go. Put two weights on that 10 and one weight on the eight on the left. There you go, on the eight. Yep. Okay. And put weights on the seven until it balances. All right, so what was that equation? How's your Play-Doh meal coming? Wow! Is that macaroni and cheese? Yeah, I put some of the macaroni and cheese on that. Macaroni but, and cheese on ice cream? But it's not a macaroni and cheese. It's not macaroni. Oh, it's not. I mean, it's not. Okay. Oh, is that a popsicle? Yes, you get a popsicle too. Wow! That's it. That's actually technically all I had to do. So, macaroni and cheese, an ice cream cone, and a popsicle. The popsicle you, you give to your mom or someone. Oh, you give it to your mom or someone? Okay, that's yes. nice of you. Okay. Yeah, cool. And I used it out this. Yeah, I used a little here. mold. Awesome. Good job. Okay. July and I are going to play a find the two factors math game. Don't look so excited about it, Eli. <laughs> so we start out with two multiplication factors here. And everybody gets five cards. See, I dealt you five cards. So mm -hmm. you can look at the cards you have. So the first player, which is gonna be you, you see if you have a factor that can be used to find these answers, these products, mm -hmm. okay? And if you have one, then you just you place just one next to it, okay? So do you have any of, do any of your numbers can be a factor to make these numbers? I don't know, I have to look. Yeah. So 30, what are all the different multiplication problems you can use to find 30? Uh. Do any of them include one of your numbers? What? So you can get a 30 by doing 10 times three. Do you have a 10 or a three? No, you can get 30 by doing five times six. Do you have a five have or a five. six? I have a five. Okay, so put your five next to the 30, okay? And then in order to solve that, one of us has to put the other one up. Do you see how it goes? Mm -hmm. All right, so now it's my turn. 
and I can look at my cards and I can see that I have a three and that is a factor of 18. So I'm gonna put my three there. Okay, these are all our problems. Eli, you have anything you can solve? What? Nine times four is 36, so we get to wipe that one off. Awesome job. Mm -hmm. All right, we just took a little break to get a snack and some water and to listen to, what was it, Noah? What, what song did we listen to? Don't Let Me Down. Don't Let Me Down, one of Noah's new favorite songs. And now we're gonna do reading. So Eli, that means independent reading for you. So you can go hang out on the couch. And Noah, you and I are gonna do some Explode the Code. Okay, Noah, to start with your Explode the Code, we're gonna review the vowels. So I want you to say, oops, say the vowels with me. A, you gotta say it with me. Okay, enough eating. A, A E I O U. I -O -U. And sometimes Y. Okay. Now, what does this? What sound does an A make? Ah. Ah. And what's not? Eh. I. Eh. 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 Ah. Uh. And uh. 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 Okay. A. Now, A. A. Yeah. Each. Vowel has a short sound and a long sound. Okay? So, let me see if I can. So, the first word is the short sound, and the second word is the long sound. So, a, a, app, cap, or a. Okay, e is et, or Eat. Pete. I is time. M. This is t M. Ten or time. Or time. O, o is cod or code. code. U is cut what? or cute. Now, what can you tell me about all of these words? What do they have in common? What do they all end in? The word. They all end in the letter e. e. So when there's an E at the end, this vowel says its name. Oh! Okay? So, a, eat, I'm, k, ode, k, ute. Right? Explode the code. Okay. So now it's time to do our worksheet. And Can he try? we're going to answer yes or no for each sentence. So read the sentence. No, 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 no. Let's start with this one. Can a sweep sweat? What's this letter? Sled. Dip, dip, sled. There you go. Can a sled fly? In the sky. No. No. Okay. So what's this one? Can he fly an egg in a pan? Can you fry an egg in a pan? Yes or no? All right. Now keep going. All right. Now it's time to move on to printing and cursive. So, we're gonna finish up our printing and cursive and some writing, and then it will be lunchtime. Can you believe it? It's already almost lunchtime. It's actually recess first. Oh, you wanna have recess before your lunch? You know yes. what? You can have that. You can it's make that cute. choice. Noah is practicing capital, comparing capital letters to the mm -hmm. lowercase version. All right. Good job, buddy. And Eli, you're working on J, cursive J, and T, 
Nice. Oh, or is that H? Oh, H. You're working on H. I thought it was a J at first because it looks like a J, but you're working on H and T. Hey, Noah, it's time to work on your writing. We are learning about adjectives. Do you remember what an adjective is? No? Uh-uh. Okay. An adjective is it's a describing word. Okay? Oh. So it either describes a person, a place, or a thing, or an object. All right. Eli has finished his cursive, and we did, what did you do? H, T, H, T, P, P, E, E, and L, L and F. Mm -hmm. Wow, you did a lot. Awesome job. All right, here's how Noah's doing on his writing. Axel is a nice guy, and my house is pretty and modern. And now you're drawing what? A brick? Yes, with like with holes? And clouds? You know those t um, bricks with, uh, with holes in them? Bricks with holes in them. Okay, we gotta come up with a sentence to describe it. And Eli's working on showing sequence. What did you write over here? How about you read it to me? Right here. First, the seed is planted. When rain comes, the seed will grow. Now, the seed is a sprout. It has been a few weeks, so the seed has grown. After a few months, the seed has turned into a pumpkin. Wow, that is super awesome, Eli. I am opening a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's afternoon now. It's after lunch and everything, and we're going to do some art projects. I am doing yeah, a shark. shark. All right, you're going to make a shark. You're going to do design your own shark. And then, Eli, what are you going to make? I'm going to make a doodle bot. A doodle bot. at your shark in a minute. We're looking at Eli's doodle bot first. He's like, wow. <laughs> That's so cool, Eli. So, but we gotta do another side because it looks like this. Oh, I like it. I love your shark. But it's gonna look just like your drawing. Except that we gotta do this side now. Oh, you gotta draw his face on that side? No. I literally have to like smooth it out and stuff. On oh, side. okay, all right. So we actually signed up for the Lancaster County Council of the Arts Summer Art Camp, and they had like a week of virtual art classes. And of course, life got busy, so we didn't end up actually using them. But thankfully, they posted all of the videos um, that showed you how to make the projects online and now they're available to the public. So if you go to YouTube and look up Lancaster County Council of the Arts, there's actually a ton of craft projects that you can do with your kids and they give you step-by-step -step instructions and most of them are pretty short. Um, they don't really take a lot, like 15, 20 minute videos and they tell you everything that you need to have for the supplies. So if you're looking for art, projects to do with your kids at home, this is a super great resource. So, there you go. Yay! It's, it's, it's the end of day three! It happened! Jane. It started as quick as it I'm ended. Sure it ended so as quick excited. as it started, you mean? Yes. <laughs> Alright, that's it for day three homeschooling. See you on day four! Alright! Bye! Bye.